everyone, I'm Katie, and this is a video that I've been wanting to do for so long. So if you don't know what a squishy makeover is, it's basically where you take an old or damaged, in this case, squishy. Basically, a squishy is a piece of foam that is supposed to like be a stress reliever kind of thing. Some people like to collect them just because they're usually quite cutely decorated. Some people actually like genuinely like them as stress relievers. Um, and they give the squishy a makeover. This series was created by a YouTuber, Mariah Elizabeth, who I admire a lot. And she sometimes makes me laugh so much that people get quite concerned. Now let's head on to squishy roasting. So this little sheep is really cute, but of course, it has some imperfections. There are a few minor, you know, rips and uneven seams here. There are even like some little bubbles. Do you see that? I think that's like a bubble in the foam. Basically a hole in the foam like here um, that's not cut open. Um, but yeah, so f first of all, I tested out my paints. Um, here they are, featuring my scissors. <laughs> um, so I used this paint to test out whether it sticks to the squishy well before I started painting because in some of Mariah Elizabeth's videos, um, like some of the paint doesn't stick so she has to like sand it down. I would just use a nail file because I don't actually have sanding paper, but whatever. So at first I tried just like globbing it, globbing it on and I got impatient so I wiped some of it away and it stuck on. Then I tried a paintbrush um, because Mariah Elizabeth has used paintbrushes before, just she doesn't really like to use it with the slick paint. She prefers the fabric, the matte fabric paint instead of the glossy fabric paint, which is this. So I used the paintbrush and I'm not sure if you can even tell that the puffy paint is there because it's like non-existent, it's so transparent. And then I used this lolly stick like she likes to do with some slick paint um, and it worked pretty well. I think the best of all is just like globbing it on but that does waste a lot of paint and I only have a minimal amount of paint here um, of each color so yeah let's hop right in so i had a lot of ideas for this video and i thought maybe like a flowery design a donut theme this keep it like basically the same as it was but repaint it a galaxy theme a banana split kind of theme um a pastel rainbow kind of theme a rainbow kind of theme a unicorn kind of theme a normal ice cream sundae kind of theme like turning this into a cherry and like keeping it like the drippy stuff so i ended up doing the pastel rainbow as you can see there's a little key there this equals blendy blendy <laughs> that's what i call a gradient sometimes because i'm not bothered to use the actual word gradient um i'm okay <laughs> so i'm gonna do one layer pink and then orange in here yellow here green here blue here and purple here and then maybe like a creamish like this color or a white and then maybe like a diagonal kind of gradient like all blended into each other like pink yellow green blue purple um so yeah i think that's a really cute idea and let's do it so I'm starting off by sticking little pieces of foam into the holes in the foam and then I'm covering it up with a bit of puffy paint and then I am putting a bobbin around it um, and filling in all of the gaps. Then I let it dry once the bobbin is all around it and then like I cut things and um, painted more things like it was just a very repetitive process and I tried to fix up the seams a little bit but it didn't really work that well but that's okay so I fixed it up a little bit more off camera I 
put in some foam in that rip because um, there was like a bunch of foam missing there. I fixed all of the air pockets and I fixed those rips there with many coats of paint. And then I fixed this little part there and I fixed a bunch of seams. So yeah, let's go on to the fun part, actually designing it. So um, I'm first mixing up all of these pastel colors. The annoying thing is that I have to mix all of these up and then have to mix more of them later because I don't have one of those like resealable pots and it's a little bit of a mess, but it's okay. Um, then I am painting on the coats of white paint because I decided to give it, her, him, I don't know, um, some white, a white face, I guess, I don't know, um, instead of a cream face, because I thought it might go better, um, and, yeah, I think it's turning out okay so far, and, um, I'm showing you my piece of foam, oh yeah, um, I was trying to prop it up, um, and it did not work in the slightest, do not try it, um, but, yeah. And then here's some really satisfying painting here. Um, yeah. <laughs> then I'm just painting it normally because I got some foam at the back of it. So that was annoying, having a bit of texture there. Well, there's no texture anywhere else. But here it is so far. It's turning out really well. Um, and yeah here's me squishing it it's gotten very much a lot ew very much a lot a, a lot more slow rising um so i think that's good yeah um yeah this squishy is like two or three years old so yeah it's been through a lot and now i'm just torturing it a little bit more you know so since um, it's quite basic right now, um, we're going to add a, bun a bunch more details to it. We're going to paint the face, which I am indicating now. Um, great timing, Katie, for the voiceover. Then we'll do the ice cream too, which I had completely forgotten about. <laughs> then I did the face with some purple because I thought um, like black would be a little bit too harsh. I could not mix up a cone color for my life, so I just did like a chocolatey kind of color. And then, yeah, I added the highlights in the eyes. I added some confetti with like actual um, paint like dots, but then I hated it. So yeah, and here's the before and after. I think um, the after is really cute and it definitely matches my room, which you will get a room tour in a while whenever I'm ready for it. <laughs> um, so yeah.